Welcome to Looper. I'm Brian Rubin. Today we are talking all about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Before 2014, if I told you that one of the biggest superhero franchises ever would feature a talking tree and his raccoon buddy, you'd probably have called me a stinking liar. And yet Guardians of the Galaxy is arguably one of the most popular Marvel movies ever. Now I'm joined by Tom and Nina to try and figure out the answer to this question. Who are the weirdest characters that could actually show up in the MCU? Nina, who are the weirdest characters that could actually show up in the MCU? This was fun to look up. I found some weird stuff. Um, so I think, I don't know how likely these are to show up, but I would not be upset if they did. Um, I really liked learning about Thor's sister, I believe it's pronounced Lausa, who just turns into a fire demon at random times. <laughs> I think um, it was. And and that starts when she's a baby, so that means we could see a baby exploding into a fire demon with, like, no provocation. This is something you uh, want to see. Yeah, that would be cool. I'm into this. All right. All right. Okay. Um, look, I didn't know I wanted to see Rocket Raccoon or Groot, and, like, everyone has a Groot Funko Pop in their home. So So baby fire demon is next. Yeah, baby fire demon is the obvious leap. Um, I feel like this guy's come up in the good old looper slack thread, but uh, Armless Tiger Man could be <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Armless Tiger um, Man. Who's that? Are you guys familiar with Eric Hertz? No. Also known as Armless Tiger Man. Um, yeah, he was uh, in the 1940s. He worked in a in a lab, and there was uh, like his arms get caught in a machine, and he loses them, and he is basically gets like by a, a tiger. Yeah, and he's super super strong, <laughs> and he just like calls himself Armless Tiger Man, and. Um, just runs around, just wrecking stuff. I have five Again. questions. <laughs> exactly five? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I just want to start out. Okay, so he doesn't have any arms? No, he does not have any arms. And not to disparage anybody, but he's also very, very strong. Yes. Okay, where does the tiger he come in? skip leg day. Unclear as to where the tiger comes in. I think, oh, he has like, in all the depictions of him, he has like fangs and very pointy teeth. Where and did he's he usually yellow. With the fangs? Yeah. Um, oh, he like, he got the teeth to use in place of his arms for more attack power. Okay, it's actually going to be six questions. Who puts the teeth in for him? <laughs> I, <w> <laughs> uh, I will have to direct you to my forthcoming book, uh, Armless Tiger Man, a, a biography that I'm currently <laughs> working on. <laughs> Reserving it on Amazon. Finally, if you don't mind, I'm sorry to keep interrupting, but I'm very excited about Fine. this subject. <laughs> Which hero yes. pulled the short straw on this one? Who, who, who's, whose nemesis is Armless Tiger Man? Black Panther. Oh, that's sad. It is. He's, but he's another big if, cat with arms. Yeah, he does have arms, so that's an immediate disadvantage. But, you know, if, say, Shuri dons the suit, maybe she has to fight an Armless Tiger Man in doing so. That doesn't I don't make see me Ryan feel better. Could... She's a very smart woman. <laughs> She's got like a lot going for her. I don't so you're, feel myself. So you're concerned about the Armless Tiger Man. You're worried about his, his well-being. I'm nothing but concerned about the Armless Tiger Man. I worry well, about see, then this is working. Too. Like I feel like yeah. this is... <laughs> see, then this okay. is working. I'm drumming up sympathy in this character. It's already working. Um, That's and a my great final point. <laughs> uh, My final one is uh, Ruby Thursday. Are you guys familiar with her? No. <laughs> She is Nina, a member of. Did you of fall asleep under too many blankets? Where are these coming from? <laughs> <laughs> these are straight out of Marvel.com. She is basically like she is part of like the headmen or something, and she has a plastic head like Mr. Potato Head, where she can move stuff around on it. Sometimes she just turns into an enormous pair of plastic lips. And then she fights. Mm -hmm. Who does she fight? Um, oh, and then she fights. Okay. Uh, she she fights with she fights uh, She Hulk. And then she also fights the Avengers and the X-Men later. It feels like there's a lot of incongruous matchups. Yeah. Happening. Okay. Well, you, yeah. you gotta, she fights you a, gotta let she fights a surprising amount of people. <laughs> Ruby Thursday. I think what Ruby it probably Thursday. is, I think the reason she fights a lot of people is because when you start working at Marvel Comics and you go, I need, <laughs> I need them to be able to beat someone really quickly in the first two <laughs> pages of this issue before we get to the real villain. They're like, oh yeah, Ruby Thursday. Just throw her in getting arrested. Like she's already been beaten before right. the reader has shown up. She can be like, you know, like Baron Zemo was for a while, just kind of floating around doing nefarious stuff in a bunch of different movies, but never like oh, yeah. rarely being the main antagonist. 
while also I occasionally see. rearranging her face. Yeah. Right. Yeah. This is that's hat on a hat, but I love it. I feel like <laughs> Ruby Thursday is unlikely to make an appearance. I agree, but I'm you know, glad I know dream. About it yeah. yeah, I just want everyone to know that she ex- she's out there waiting. For a strong turn. female antagonist. Yeah. What? Marvel, it's time. Come you on. You asked for weirdest. You asked me for weirdest, <laughs> I and did, I, I did. feel like I really I delivered here. You're, you're not, not one wrong. person on the Zoom call is disappointed in you right now. Now You're doing a terrific <laughs> job. But what I want to, okay, I have eight questions. <laughs> okay. Why is your name Ruby Thursday? Uh, it's... Like a, it's a reference for the Rolling Stones song "Ruby Tuesday," but I don't know why it's the question. I don't know why it's Keith Richards <laughs> never sings. Like, <laughs> Hello, Ruby Thursday. That's yeah. the she was that always lost reported. in time and space. No, she that's that's the only explanation on that there is. Is it's just like <laughs> she's just Ruby Thursday, and it's a it's a Rolling Stones reference, but they're never like. And here's the meaning behind it. She's a woman of mystery, Thomas. I smell her. I friend. guess. <laughs> Tom. Well, I'm in love with her. Tom. <laughs> put your love away. Just for a minute. I don't know if I have that in me, but I'm going to give it at the old college. Who are the weirdest villains, or weirdest characters, excuse me, that the MCU could bring in in Phase 4? So I feel like we've got all the classics, you know, the, the, the people that are just going to come up anytime that you Google, like, weirdest, weird, weirdest Marvel characters. You get your Great Lakes Avengers. You get your, right. uh, you, you, you get your pet Avengers. You get those, those groups. Uh, I don't know. There, there's a lot of guys that, that, that haven't gotten a lot of attention for good reason. Uh, Slapstick was, was one of my favorites when I was a kid. Stupid I remember character. Slapstick. You remember Slapstick? He's great. I, he, uh, I remember from the Marvel Comics cards. I had the trading cards. So that's, I remember getting that card and saying, Slapstick. The hell is that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, and then like moving on to like Nightcrawler and the, the heroes I love. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He was very much a, uh, a what is, what lava is Slapstick blast Batman. Do? What does he do? The lava, lava blast, blast Batman. <laughs> yeah. Of, of trading cards. He's the one that you didn't really want, but you're like, oh, it's yeah. got him now. Uh, yeah. What does he do? He, he has all the powers basically of a Tex Avery card though. He's, 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 uh, he looks like a Chuck Jones character. He's out there getting squashed by uh, by, by steamrollers and stuff. He he's a uh, he pulls a giant mallet out of nowhere. He's a he's a big old silly goof. So the mask, uh, starring Jim. Pretty Carrey. basically, you know what? I would be a little bit flabbergasted if it turned out that this character didn't pop up right after the mask, starring Jim Carrey. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Hmm. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, but fun. Uh, who else? What have we got? Um, like two thirds of Alpha Flight, I feel like would be very weird to see on screen. Mm-hmm. Uh, Alpha Flight's pretty strange. Alpha yeah, Flight is top tier to me, but like it is inescapable that the vast majority of their roster is made up of racial stereotypes and problematic archetypes. And uh, yeah. yeah, there's that. Like I think Puck spent like the first five or six years that he was a character just being like funny because he's shorter than everybody <laughs> uh, like that was his entire defining character trait. right uh, well, on behalf of short people everywhere that's insulting well and I mean, on behalf of the rest of the us hero Nina, for you. look at you go <laughs> look at you go you're doing a good job all right <laughs> so uh let's see here uh oh that version of nixon that shot himself in the captain america comic back in the day i don't know if you guys remember that it was oh, like kind of yeah. they, they kept him like really shadowy and stuff but he like he just Full on. He uh, no. He he swallows a bullet right there on on the page. Uh, so that's one of your picks for weirdest characters they could bring in. Yeah, that version of Nixon that shot himself in the Captain America comic is my number three pick. Uh, <laughs> uh, actual Bucky from the comics. I feel like instead of like the reimagined version, like the one that is inarguably a fourteen year old with a machine gun. I would love to see that <laughs> on screen. Uh, and then finally, uh, Henry Cavill Superman. That would be pretty weird. Yeah, that would yep. be weird. <laughs> yeah. What if? Oh, but just to spring off of that, what if they did Squadron Supreme? What if they did? Cast, and cast Henry Cavill, Cavill, excuse me. As, I don't know. What's that dude's name? Who's the leader of the Squadron know. Supreme? Oh, shoot. They're uh, the JLA analogs in yeah. Marvel yeah. Comics. It's not, it's not Sentry, is it? Is it Hyperion? Maybe. That sounds right. I think I... I think Hyperion. Let's just cut out this part where none of us know anything. <laughs> That's <laughs> fine. Is it That's Hyperion? Fine. It might be Hyperion. 
I think that's who it is in the squad. I can't team. keep all of the like dark reimaginings of Superboy right. straight anymore. It's, yeah. it's a little difficult. Um, so my pick, I also thought of the the Great Lakes Avengers. Um, I like Squirrel Girl a lot. Oh yeah. Squirrel Girl is a favorite. They were actually going to bring Squirrel Girl into the MCU at some point. Uh, a few years ago, they announced uh, a show that they were going to put on TV that was going to be part of the MCU with Milana Vaintrub as Squirrel Girl. That didn't happen. She does the voice on the in the cartoon. But my pick for the weirdest villain that they could bring into the MCU that I think could actually show up in the MCU at some point is Swarm. Are you familiar with Swarm? I'm not. Tom, are you familiar with Swarm? I'm thinking of the Thousand, I think. Who are you talking about? Swarm is a Nazi scientist. Nope. Who is also a person-shaped swarm of bees in a purple cape with white gloves. And Wait, he wears a cape? He wears a purple cape with a hood over uh-huh. his mound of swarm bees. Of bees head he has teeth um and he wears yeah, white gloves i, I want to see this yeah <laughs> and he's this uh, he's treacherously his, todd mcfarlane is this it, todd it's, McFarlane? no uh created by bill mantlo the I'll be damned. creator of rocket raccoon uh, among many other characters um he fought the champions which was a bunch of heroes out in la that was comprised of like uh, I want to say and... Hercules, Iceman, Ghost Rider, Ghost Angel, Rider, yeah. Black Widow, and someone named Dark Star, who I'd never heard of yeah. before until I started looking into Swarm's yeah. origins. But Swarm is a former Nazi scientist who escaped to, I want to say, South America, Central America. And he was out there doing research on being a Nazi. And he's like, <laughs> Researching bees. Yeah. He, well, he's like, I need, I need bees to take over the world. But look, <laughs> look at these bees. And he says, a comet <laughs> hit the earth recently. And I think these bees were affected by that comet. If I can control these bees, I can take over the world. And so he builds a ray gun, shoots the bees, and learns that he wasn't able to control the bees, but he was able to make them very angry. So they swarm him. I am sting captivated him, right now. Sting him like crazy. And then his consciousness is shredded and is spread across the bees. And he's now a pile of bees shaped like a guy. And he fights the champions and they beat him by Hercules throws the queen bee into the, into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> and so then all the bees leave and then all that's left is a pile of bones. Um, this sucks so hard. He's I come back. It. He's come back since then. Um, uh, Swarm. Well, yeah, he's, you don't just throw away a character like Nazi yeah. scientist who got stung by a bunch of bees. He's Nazi bees. Swarm. <laughs> a bunch of Nazi bees. He's Nazi bees. I'm broken. You've broken me with this information. So there's Swarm. So that's who I want. That's who I think is the weirdest character that they could bring into the MCU oh that I think God. would be great. Why wow. not? We've got. Can you imagine being like a racial, like, superiority based villain and then right. going like you know you know what it's probably fine if i'm a bunch of bees <laughs> like i got a lot of problems with different skin colors and lifestyles <laughs> but i think as long as i'm white bees i should be fine oh my god <laughs> they're so they're bees these bees swarm oh my He's god bees. yeah i want i, I <laughs> I want I want a swarm movie. I want a swarm franchise. I want a swarm action figure. I want a swarm everything. You can buy a swarm action figure. I want okay, I'm ordering one now. Yeah, it exists. I want, I want to see twenty thousand bees line up at a salon to get their hair peroxided. <laughs> <laughs> and bees are nice. He should have been wasps. Yeah, wasps. He should have been wasps. Yeah, yeah. Bees are helpful. They're saving the planet. Yeah, we we like bees. We yeah. like bees. Only. We here at Looper support bees. We support That seems bees. like a natural conclusion point for the episode. <laughs> yes. Save the bees. Thanks. You for know, that. we hate a lot of things here at Looper, but not <laughs> bees. Good night. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Please hit like and subscribe so you don't miss a single episode.